reiterating this over and over again because you can never hear it too many times. Water on both my hands and the pot. Get the speed up pretty fast. Okay. And if I feel it grabbing at me at any point, I just get more water. And then I'm going to cone up, so more pressure on my left hand. All the way to the top, come off. And then more pressure on my right hand. And pushing it back down. And that just gets rid of all the air bubbles. Still a really slight wobble. This will be totally awesome for you guys. But I'll be a little fussier just to try and get it as centered as I can. Okay. So, so that's pretty centered. I've got I'm resting my hand on there. You don't see it moving very much. Okay. Now I'm gonna open with my left thumb. Push down. Okay, and remember to check for you guys. Make sure that you check. It's worth it. This could be a little. Oops, I left this tool out. It's a little rusty. Shoot. Okay, so like a centimeter. Okay. Or even more if you want a higher foot. Okay, now I'm going to put water in, and you'll notice I'm always braced. I'm never up like this. Arms are always braced on my body somewhere. Basically, I'm just curling back, so like this, and then straightening the walls. Okay. I can go until there, and I have to get everything off. And I yeah, that's well. There's always something, right? Everybody has their thing. Some people have a hard time pulling their pieces off the wheel. So now I'm compressing the bottom. That's just running my finger really lightly from the middle to the right edge, back to the middle, back to the right, and that just compresses the base. It ensures that you don't end up with cracks in the bottom of your cups slash bowls. Then put a little more water. This is the part where you do the butterfly. Locked fingers, and I slow my wheel down. When I start pulling the walls up, I like it almost like a mid to slow and you don't need to be that aggressive you know you're not pulling it all up in one fell swoop you're just doing it gradually so same pressure from the bottom all the way up if you feel it grabbing at any point just come off get more water it's worth it Sometimes I like to make a little notch at the bottom just to know where I'm starting to pull up from. Okay. Alrighty. And then you want to take all your water out if you end up with water where you can't get your hands in, that's what this little device is for. Mm. And there's only one kicking around. I'll probably make a couple more for in here, but we can share it currently. Okay, and I'm just taking, for me, I'm just taking off all this extra slip. I, that, did, I did that last week and then I had little holes in there. Depends on how you do it. And never use a straight edge. probably in one of the other buckets. We'll take a look. You shall take a look. Okay, so I'm just going to cut to the base and come away and run all the way along. Pull the rest of that clay off that I can reuse later. And adding water. Let's cut it off. These are getting a little mangled. There we go. To carry, of course, it's underneath like that. If you need help, you can always ask me. I don't mind helping with that. Okay. 
Okay, and then there's your walls, okay? So as even as you can all the way to the top is the goal. Don't stress about it if it doesn't look like that. 